I got the Fallout 76 beta key uh, just recently, today, uh, and I played a couple hours of it, and I wanted to sit down and talk about what happened. I have not played Fallout 1 or 2. I have played uh, New Vegas, and I have played 4, for one of my favorite games uh, from Bethesda. Uh, Skyrim's really good as well, and so is Oblivion. And so I do have a little bit of background with Fallout. And I just wanted to, to have that as a disclaimer uh, before I start talking about 76, just because I, wanted, I want you guys to know I kind of know what I'm talking about, but not a whole lot. Do you have any pointers that you want to you put in the chat, maybe? Fuck. The comments? Not on Twitch. It's not the fucking chat. How the previous Fallout games are similar to Fallout 76, or how they differ from Fallout 76. Um, just let me know. Uh, put down in the comments and and we can start a discussion down there maybe. I don't know. Okay. So, let's get into Fallout 76. You start off in a vault, just like every other Fallout game. Um, and this time it's Vault 76, which was made for the 300-year uh, anniversary of the formation of America. And so, uh, in this Fallout game, you create your character. The character creation is very similar to Fallout 4. You can drag around, like, uh, the nose and the eyes to position them on the on the uh, a character uh, differently, and you can you know they have presets that you can choose from as well. Um, so you have a lot of choice on how your face looks. Um, I didn't get too into I don't know about body uh, settings. I didn't look really. Uh, the hair color, you know, eye color, all that stuff, uh, just very similar to the previous Fallout games. Um, and so once you get out of the vault. You're presented with a mission from a uh, Mr. Handyman, um, one of the uh, robots that help assist people do their daily tasks in the time alternate time period, whatever, all that stuff. So you're presented with a quest right as you get out of the vault by a Mr. Handyman. And this is kind of where the whole Fallout stuff starts, because um, in the vault, there really isn't much to do. You just collect items from like these little tables that basically say, oh, this is your camping stuff, this is stim packs, and it's like, it's just pretty simple introducing people to kind of what those items do. Um, and then once you actually get out of the vault, you're presented with that mission. And the mission is to listen to a hollow tape and then go find um, an objective somewhere on the map. And I'm just, I'm not gonna do too many spoilers, I'm just gonna do this first mission to just talk about how it's very similar to previous fallouts. Um, and so you go, you collect the mission, and basically it's just collecting hollow tapes and then doing the uh, what the hollow tapes say. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like basically they're tutorializing you to all the new stuff in Fallout, while also trying to uh, while also trying to give you the the original Fallout like your stim packs do this, this does this, just like kind of new people that haven't played any other fallouts they're tutorializing them on the normal fallout stuff while also introducing the mmo aspects and this is kind of where i it's it's feels off um it's a just a normal fallout mission you walk somewhere you talk to a thing you listen to a tape and then you do like you build a camp you uh collect meat cook it it's like that kind of stuff and that's it's bland I want to say almost like it feels like it's something that I have played before so many times. Um, the Fallout aspects are like almost directly out of Fallout Four, in my opinion. Like the quests, the 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 just everything is structured like a Fallout game, which isn't a bad thing, but it just feels like Fallout Four over again. And I played a lot of hours in Fallout Four, and it just kind of feels like the same thing. Uh, it just kind of feels bland, and this is the beta, so it, I mean, it's a beta very close to the release, but it is a beta, so I'm not gonna trash too hard. But um, it just feels very similar to the or, you know previous Fallout games. And with that said, it is a solid Fallout game. Uh, the shooting's kind of fucking weird. Um, <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, it, it just it it you know Fallout's not known for its shooting. Fallout Four had a pretty good shooting mechanic, uh, and it felt pretty good. Um, this one it 
just feels off. Uh, it kind of feels floaty to me almost, which I know sounds weird for a Fallout game, but uh, I just I, I tried adjusting the settings. I my mouse sensitivity was changed, all that stuff, and it just felt really floaty to me. Um, and so I don't know. It it doesn't feel as good as Fallout Four to me right now. Maybe I'm not just used to it. I, I am playing it on PC. Uh, and I did play Fallout 4 on console, so that might be where the confusion's coming from for me. But, uh, it doesn't feel right. It feels weird. It feels so weird to me. Focus, focus, focus. We're good. Focus? Fo okay, focus. And with that said, while it doesn't feel like a Fallout game, control mechanic-wise, it is just copy-paste for Fallout 4. Um, almost. The map, uh, I will talk about that. The map is solid. Um, I was doing a main quest with a friend of mine, um, and then we just discovered a random like mine, Gully's mine, something like that, uh, which is just like a coal mine, I believe. And it was it has some cool branching paths that you that you went on inside. Uh, there was some cool like environmental stuff going on. There was a uh, not a whole lot of story to the area, from what I can tell. It just looked like kind of a mine that had been abandoned. Uh, there were some enemies inside, some of the uh, scorchers, I believe, or ghouls. Um, and so inside there was enemies, not a whole lot of story. Uh, and then we got to the, towards the end of the mine, and there was a large cage with a red button inside, and it was pr protected by a, a keypad with numbers on it. There was a note um, somewhere nearby with the keypad uh, numbers you know, the keypad solution on it. And so we found the keypad numbers. Uh, we entered it into the keypad and we went inside and there was this red button. Uh, and so whenever we pressed it, it closed the door and locked us in. And I thought, whoa, this is an interesting encounter. What, what, what does this do? And so uh, we pressed it again and it opened up. We had, uh, I had my friend go outside and I pressed it and it locked me inside, just me, so we could see kind of what was going on outside. And we searched there for, I want to say, uh, 15 minutes probably. We searched around to see if there was any notes we missed, any hollow tapes, and there wasn't. Um, from what I could find, they had they like it was not presented to us anything that that button did other than close the door. And I feel like it was a missed opportunity for something cool to happen. Um, because you know we we got the 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 pad working, we figured out the code for the pad. And once we got inside, we weren't given anything for it. Um, which usually in a video game, if you find something like that, if there's a locked chest, a locked door, there's gonna be something behind it. Uh, and all it was was a red button that closed the door behind you and locked you in on, until you pressed it again, which was kind of like anticlimactic for me. Um, and this was just a random mine that wasn't part of any mission we had had yet. Uh, might be part of a mission later, I'm not sure. But uh, it was not part of any mission we had yet. And we went inside, explored, and found that, and nothing happened. So, yeah. Huh. What should I talk about now? Weapons? Yes, okay. So, the weapon crafting system is back from Fallout 4. Uh, where you can modify weapons with stuff you find around the world, and you can um, craft new weapons. Uh, they actually tutorialize you by you crafting your own first weapon instead of just giving you a weapon to begin with. You can choose to craft a knife, a board, uh, a gun. Uh, they actually have multiple guns you can choose from to craft first. They're all pipe guns, but you get a pistol, revolver, um, a syringer, which is was kind of weird. I didn't craft it because I was like, what am I going to use that for this early in the game? How am I going to get syringes? What? Anyway, um, so after you craft your first gun, you craft armor as well. Uh, and kind of all your first equipment you have is just crafted stuff because you walk out of the vault with just your fists. And so um, the crafting is basically the same as Fallout 4, which I keep finding myself saying this game is very much Fallout 4. If you didn't like Fallout 4, there might be a problem there. I did like Fallout 4, but I played it so much that this seems like just a, a repeat of what I've already played hundreds of hours of just with multiplayer. 
Um, the map is cool. The map does change things up a little bit, but the crafting and the base building, all of it just feels so similar. If you want to give it a shot yourself, it is a $60 release. Um, and I will say it's kind of choppy on some PCs. Um, it's like, uh, I don't have the best PC, but it still was really laggy for me and really hard to control. Uh, like I said, that might just be one, that just might be the floaty controls of the of the game, or the it might be my PC and it's not completely optimized yet. I'm not sure, um, but that was kind of my experience with it. Say something in the comments if you did like it, if you have played it. Uh, I'd love to have a conversation about it. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.